uh, in this video we'll be showing how to uh, do an alias tag uh, basically a, a regular controller scope tag and you want to reference it to something else immediately and I'm pretty sure we've all seen this basically uh, it's the highlighted point up underneath the tag I'm going to start this from scratch though um, and keep in mind we will be using the RS Logix Emulate 5000 chassis so my, my processor type is an emulator as you see uh, my version is version 20 and I'll just put um, alias okay so alias example um, and we'll make this one quick um, I just want to show you how to in case you had any questions about aliasing and stuff of that nature um, so right now it's making the, the program it should it should take long um, okay so uh, first and foremost you know I like to go in here and change the continuous task to periodic uh, generally speaking on most control systems I keep it at 47 milliseconds and then I come in and my main is still my main so that's fine okay so what we'll do um, is first and foremost we'll, we'll make a couple tags in our tag database so we'll go to our controller tag which is completely empty right now and we'll put uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll basically put like a bunch of uh, uh, data types and stuff of that nature so we'll put uh, state one and then come in here out oh. see I ended up making that a, a dent so I want to change that that's why it's good to be offline when you do that so you can have it um, you can change it real quick so now it's the same so I want to keep basically keep the same pattern and do that one say that okay so come back here and let's straighten these out so it's real particular on how you you know make sure you do your data types correctly um, just make sure you you know you don't have the, the wrong thing in there and then what we'll do is we'll have like uh, have it alias um, we'll have it alias a new tag that we make so what we'll do is we'll call this state one and then we'll do the same thing on that to make sure it's a, it's a full and this is just to highlight the fact of uh, you know I'm not saying this is this is just to highlight the fact of how to do uh, aliasing is not necessarily a something that should be done this way or whatever I mean it's just basically highlighting the fact of this you can't do what the options are right so real quick making the tags and we're on our last one okay so we've made our tags now so what we can do is we can alias uh, state one to state uh, so state one to state one we can alias state two to state two and three to three and four to four okay so what this will look like what this will actually look like when you go to use it and say for instance we went to add a wrong and we said well okay so we're going to use state one. You'll see that it has an alias up under it. Now let's let's take in mind uh, let's take in mind that if we use just the state one, which we could, we could just use state one. It's just going to be the bit. But instead, you have the 
the option to actually control it a different way. So uh, real quick, let's, let's kind of back up and, and to illustrate this, we'll put the classic uh, the classic timer in there, right? And we'll do that. So pre-run one. And then we'll put this as free run two. Okay, so two seconds, two seconds. And basically, this is you know just a, a, a normal flasher timer. You know when when one's on, one's off. When the other one's on, it's off. So basically, that's the gist of it. So you use the done bit off of each one in front of the other one, and that's how you control which direction it's going. Okay, so that's that. And let's let's take this and say. Uh, let's do this. Let's take this and put this in front of here. Move this bit over here. And then what we'll, what we'll do is we'll change. Actually, I don't want to drag it. I want to copy it. So paste it. And then we'll go ahead and just check. Make sure verify we didn't have any kind of any, any uh, program errors. Hit go online. Um, again, this is a virtual chassis, so we're using a virtual backplane. Uh, so the ABVBP, the virtual back backplane, we're using uh, emulator slot one. Right, download right now. It's a small program; it shouldn't take very long at all. Uh, to keep these videos kind of short. Uh, click and run. Okay, so. Every time state one comes on, what we'll do is we'll throw some indications down here. So what I'd like to do is is throw in state. I'll throw in a couple of different states. I'll throw in the other ones. So we only have four, right? So let's do this. Do state two. Let's do state three. You kind of see where I'm going with this. I mean, it's just not very complicated at all. The point of it is, is <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. The point of it is, is you can use multiple functions. And what we want to do is, is put a new operation. So we want to use this as a uh, NOP, new operation. So nothing will happen here. We'll basically just be monitoring, you know, the status of these bits, right? Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's edit this wrong, and let's say we want to cut on the other bit. So we want to cut on state two. So all right, let's make three. Let's do three. So you should see both of these come on, and that's just because um, we're cutting on the alias of that bit. So if we break the alias of that bit, if we were to actually go offline and break the alias of that bit, it would not come on. And real quick, I can highlight that. Uh, let's go offline. Let's, let's break the alias of three, and let's put nothing, no alias. Right, and then we'll download again. This just kind of shows you the power of an alias. I mean, it just what it can and can't do. So we'll go back to this right quick, and you see it does not have an alias. It's just on, so I can toggle it off, off and on. But it doesn't have a control, 
and we're trying to we used to we were controlling it off of the alias it used to be so now uh, to prove that again we could change this to a 2 and have it cut on this bit down here and this is a real, real simple cut and dry example but it does illustrate uh, how to tie two tags together which via an alias um, whether it, it be a whatever you want to name them um, most of the time it's going to be like an IO or something like that so you have like input one um, and then you can name it like photo I whatever uh, in feed photo I to you know whatever and then alias that in feed photo I uh, tag to uh, the very input that it is that way you can actually easily find it you easily know what it is it, it, it the input is for and you know it you know what as far as that goes is troubleshooting and stuff like that so again I hope you uh, this helps you out kind of understand aliasing and uh, it's short and short and sweet as it was um, I hope this has kind of helped you and uh, I'll be putting a lot more videos on um, just uh, check you know I, in the show notes below I'll put my website on there and I'm trying to you know kind of grow that I uh, haven't had a lot of time to, to invest in that lately but I wanted to show some more videos on my, my channel so that it would be kind of helpful as, as far as you know where to, where I'd like to get like to help people and and show people what where, where my goal is as far as getting that website so again uh, I'll have all that in the show notes below and I also if you need to contact me they'll, that contact information will be in the show notes below as well okay well I appreciate your time and uh, thank you for for watching